Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create a clean text reveal animation using strokes and we'll also add some dynamic stroke line movements to make it look extra stylish. You can download the project file from the link in the description so you can practice or follow along step by step. Let's jump straight in and get started. Alright, so right now we are in After Effects and the first thing I'm going to do is import my Illustrator file and when you import this file, make sure you select Composition, Retain Layer Sizes. At this point, I want to tell you that if you want to know how to prepare a logo in Illustrator and then import it into After Effects, I've already made a separate tutorial for that. You can check it out and then come back to this tutorial and watch it. Then I open this text composition so you can see we have lots of Illustrator layers in our timeline. So select all the layers, right click, then choose Create and then Create Shapes from Vector Layer. This will convert our Illustrator layers into shape layers. Now we can delete our Illustrator layers and after that I'm going to rename each layer manually. We can recognize each letter nicely. After that, I'm going to animate the T letter first because this letter is easy to understand. Also, you can see there are two parts of this T, so we have to separate them. Let me show you how you can separate those elements of T. So I select the letter T or layer T and then I solo this layer so we can only focus on this particular letter and then I duplicate this layer and rename it like T line and then I unsolo the T layer. Then I select the pen tool and then I click on this icon so we can draw a mask on this shape layer and I start making a mask on this shape like this to separate this element of the T letter from the other one, like this. Then I select the T line layer and press M to open the mask properties and then I copy the mask. Then I unsolo this layer and solo the T layer and then I paste the mask property to this layer and then I change the mask mode to subtract. So you can see we have this kind of result. However, in this line we've got some blank space. So let me show you how to fix this. First, select the pen tool once again and then create another mask on the shape like this and then adjust this mask like this. And there you go. We have a perfect mask on this letter and now we've got two different elements of this letter. After that, I unsolo this layer and solo the T-line layer once again and I lock this layer as well. Then I select the pen tool and this time I turn off the fill and I draw a stroke line on this shape layer like this and make sure you cover this shape completely. And then I rename this layer as T-Line Reveal and then I go to the search bar and type Cap to see the cap options and then I change Butt Cap to Round Cap and it will smooth out both edges of this shape which we've drawn. After that, I add a Trim Paths to this layer and open the Trim Paths properties as well and add a keyframe at the end value and change it to 0%. Then I scrub the timeline and increase the value to 100% so we get this kind of animation. Then I select both keyframes and easy ease them. Then I go to the graph editor and change the graph like this. And after that I place this layer above the T-line layer and then I select the T-line layer and change its track mat to T-line reveal so we get a nice revealing animation like this. Then I select both the layers and pre-compose them 
and name this comp as T-Line. After that, I click this icon. And then I select the Puppet Pin tool and create two points like this. So if I drag this, it will move like this. And also, if you press U on the keyboard, you can see there are two keyframes generated automatically. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste a couple of times like this. And then I scrub the timeline to see the animation. And then I change one of the pinpoints of the shape like this. Then I move the time indicator to the second keyframe and then change the puppet pin position like this. I repeat this process a couple of times. And after that, we get this kind of animation. And then I select all the keyframes. By the way, we can remove those keyframes because we don't need them yet in this case. And then I easy ease them. So we get a smooth reveal stroke movement animation. And then after that, I adjust the keyframes to get it perfect. Then I close this layer and unsolo this layer as well. And then I solo the T layer and then lock it as well. Once again, I am drawing a stroke over this shape layer using the pen tool, which we did before. And then I rename this layer as T-Reveal. And I also place it above the T-Layer. Then I open the Cap Properties and change it to Round Cap as well. And then I add a Trim Path to this layer. And animate it just like we did before. And then I select all the keyframes and Easy Ease them. Then I go to the Graph Editor and change the graph like this. So we got this kind of animation. And then I unlock the T-Layer and change its track mat to T-Reveal Layer. And now we've got this beautiful Shape Reveal animation. Then and select both layers and pre-compose it as T. And I move the T-Line Layer slightly forward a bit. And if I solo the T-Line Layer as well, you can see how it looks. So, as you understand, by using this technique, you can create this kind of stroke movement reveal animation in After Effects. So, I'll quickly animate the rest of the layers and then I will get back to you. So, I animated the rest of the layers and you can see the final output I got. I used the same technique which I showed you before. So, right now, select all the layers and pre-compose them. Name it Text Animation. Then duplicate the layer, then select the top layer of this timeline and drag it forward a little bit and then I am adding a fill effect to the bottom layer. So we will get this amazing text reveal animation with the stroke movements. So that's how you can create a stylish stroke reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.